your shoelaces undone. Sorry, 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 shoelaces, shoelaces, yeah. Ah, please, Sissy, I'm watching. I don't want. Oh, wow, me! Oh, wow, me! Friend, he was just trying to be helpful. You're gonna have to go. Can come on, I'm dead. What's wrong with your hand? It's a good moon to line him now. What do you mean? Nothing to do with my number. I am going to call you. Oh, you such a romantic. Hello, guys. Welcome to episode five of African Films and Theatres on Watacha TV YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. We do weekly reviews about strictly African films. Let's start with our recommendation of the week. Please, um, well, we're recommending that you go watch a movie titled Seriously Single, but unfortunately the movie has been given a pause. It was supposed to be released on the 1st of May in cinemas, but because of uh, the coronavirus, which has everyone as settled, um, it has been postponed. Uh, so we'll let you know as long as it, as soon as it drops in cinemas. Uh, our the movie that we'll be doing a review about is titled "Love Lives Here." I'm sure we've seen all this hashtag on social media, and we was bowling because in relationships, telling us that love lives here. But uh, they made a film, uh, a South African production company, a filmmakers of a film titled "The Mrs. Right Guy." I don't know if you've watched it. Uh, search for it if you haven't. Uh, so Love Lives Here is not in cinemas but it is available on Showmax. Um, so Love Lives Here is directed by Norman Marke and written by Mukopi Shali um, and with like a stellar cast man. Yo, the casting was amazing. It has Tando Tabete as Zintle. It has Nati acted by Lungile Radu. It has who? Kwenam Tiani acted by Andy Legumi. It has Lilita acted by Zola Nombona. It also has Makata Mafate. It also has Nongabi Getaiga. Um, and Nomalanga Shozi. So Love Lives Here is a is a rom com. It's a beautiful rom com. It's about a character named Zintle who's desperate to get married. So Zintle has this douchebag, almost like fiance. Uh, no, not fiance because they're not engaged, but she wants to get married, and she's always hinted to this guy, "Hey, bro, I want to get married." But this guy is a player. He plays her, and. Um, Unfortunately, he has no plans on getting married. I think eventually they split because Zintle discovers that this guy has cheated. And Zintle meets this player called Nat. Well, Nat is not a player. He's like a cheese He's very smooth on the tongue. Uh, dating a sugar daddy. So, yeah, two broken people who are falling in love with one another. And the form is shot on like KZN, so there's just a beautiful chemistry between Nati and Zintle, and it's it's amazing to watch. So they form this love nest, but things take a bit of a turn because, like I said, Zintle wants to get married. Baby girl is desperate to get married, um, and Nati unfortunately does not want to get married. So I think the two clash because of that. And I think what made Zintle think Nati has the intention of marrying her, um, of marrying her was the fact that Nati took Zintle to uh, his house. And they met uh, the mom. They met Nati's mom. So Zintle is like, oh, anyashatala, anyashata. Uh, tungisani, guys, tungisani. It's very dangerous. Don't tell people to go out and make dresses if nothing's been confirmed. Um, and then after that, uh, we see her speaking to, to the potential mom-in-law and the mom is impressed. So you would think usually uh, mothers-in-law can be nightmares to daughters-in-law, but this mom is impressed with this girl. She's like, I love her. Nati, you must do the right thing and marry her. No, Nati breaks her. No, mom, you know how I feel about marriage. That changes everything for them. That literally changes everything for them. Uh is like, hey, but nah. I thought we get married. But Zintle I think is in love with Nati because for the first time she's in a relationship where she's not dictated what she, what she must and, and what she cannot do. So 
uh, like when when Zintle was with her previous partner titled Gwen Amtian, she'd be told, don't walk like that, don't come there. She's very, this girl is just very possessive over her. Uh, but with Nati, she's free, man. Like, like I think there's a scene with the experiential way, like, don't drink. She mustn't drink alcohol or something. And then we she, we see her with Nachi in there in this tavern and she's drinking a goo too. And this girl is free and she's having the time of her life, bruh. And so and this movie has such beautiful scenes and and you see them even just go home and you see how comfortable she is with this guy. And there's this scene reserved for adults, which is amazing. And it's not even me perving, but it's like whatever it is that they intended for an audience to feel in that movie, I personally feel like I felt it as an audience member. And then we have characters such as Mashafati in the movie, who's just having fun. This guy's like a player, he's a millionaire, he's a rich guy. And Mashafati is an amazing actor. I just wish they used him more. If I was to get that actor on my set, I will use him more and more and more. And we have Nomalanga Shozi, who is best friend with Zinkle in the movie. And it's just like, they just girls having fun. Uh, however, take a shot. Short left, if we may say, eventually Zinke is about to get married. And I won't tell you who she's married between the two guys, between Nati and Gwena. So, Gwena, fine, the Zinke is at her homestead, they're taking out, this is the day of the Nobola. This is the day of the Nobola, and uh, they've gathered everyone, and families have come together, so Gwena's family, Gwena sent his family. They are about to get married. He lied to her. Cause they lied, these niggas. That I'll be involved. <laughs> Not all niggas. We are very faithful here. Uh, and yeah, convinced her that hey, I'll be loyal to you. I'm sorry about what I've done to you. But Zintle, cause she's desperate, she gives it. Uh, but Nati does something. Something that you can discover if you go watch this movie. There's something that Nati does. But all I can say is that it's a rom com film. It has a happy ending. It will frustrate some people, but I really love this film. It's amazing. It's, it's a full good South African film. At least we're having such film under our such films rather under our belt. Um, do the right thing. Comment, share, give us criticism. What do you like? What don't you like? And man, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching African Films and Theatres on Botaka YouTube channel. Thank you.